Did everybody watch the Avatar? Yes, 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 no. yes, yes, yes. Well, since I said B- I've only seen episode one. Since B Souls and Damo haven't watched it all the way through, and we'll get back to basketball in two seconds. Oh, wow. uh, I'll be spoiler quick, free. Don't worry, it's yeah, quick. Uh, no, spoiler. I, I don't plan on watching it. So. I mean, it's, it's yeah, well, so it's it's for me. I don't. I don't. I don't have a car. So, yeah. Yeah. I said, we yeah, already know the story. Hey, hey, right, he wins. Don't, don't he spoil the live He's action Lion King. He wins. Like, <laughs> Mufasa died. Oh shit! What? 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 I thought they would let him live this time. <laughs> I'll say this: from when I first started it, it was Boo Boo. When it first started, oh, episode yeah, one and tweet. two, that it was Boo Boo. Beginning was Boo Boo. Then. It started to get better. It started to get better. My only gripes, um, they made it as if you know everything already. Oh, so like yeah. this whole Iroh making him feel bad or greater than who he is. Like, because, you know, Iroh's like this on the evil side, but he's secretly good. Mm-hmm. Stop that. Stop that. You just got to yeah, stop that. Yeah, they pushed that trope. I don't know if you're done or not, but I do want to say they pushed that trope way too hard. With way too hard. Like, like, holy shit. You don't even like, at least when you're watching the uh, original, you feel like, yo, Zuko's a dick. And then over oh. time, you're like, well, actually, oh, that makes sense. But like when they're talking about the 41st Division or when they're just talking about Iroh making sea jokes or shit or like Iroh being locked up with Aang and shit like that, it's like, man. Y'all are really going out the way to say these are the good guys that just work or raised up with the bad guys. Like, y'all don't even give us a chance. Uh, I don't like spoon fed information. Katara is an expert. I hate the actor that plays Aang. She's a fucking prodigy in this verse, man. Um, I hate the actor that plays Aang. That nigga sucks. He sucks. He just sucks. Yeah, Viso. So, like, and I'm not going to lie, this isn't going to be a TikTok on my channel, but I'll just say from my channel, and I'm I'm sorry I keep bringing my channel up, promotion of hell, but I initially responded to the concerns of Aang and Sokka's characters being changed, and people were like, oh, just wait. I waited, and oh my god, it's exactly what I feared. Like, exactly what I feared. Sokka, not only because he's not a cartoon, but it, just because you're taking away certain parts of his character... I honestly don't give a single fuck about Sokka. I, it's, it's not that he's bad. Yeah. I just genuinely don't care about any of his ambitions, any of his desires, because what are they? All I know about Sokka is he's just attractive to other women now. Like, literally, that's all I know. All I know is he he will likely get the random girl in the nation. All I care about Katara is... I mean, Katara, I do care about her uh, personality much more than Sokka. Let me not say that. But she's like, and someone's typing, she's a prodigy in the cartoon. Bro, I'm telling you, it is not the same. Katara don't need, she didn't need any teaching. Like, that's how the bigger the difference is, bro. I'm a mild spoiler, I guess, but you're not, you're just not going to comprehend it. She literally, like, just gets the scroll. You remember the scroll uh, for the dude that yeah. said the original? She just gets the scroll and becomes her. Like, like quite literally, n- don't learn shit. Fr- but like one little sentence from Aang doesn't learn shit from Paco. In fact, she just one v ones the nigga, and then just fight after fight, she's just like exponentially better. It's the, ridiculous. The one, the one v one is the killer. Um, last, yeah. two, last two things I want to say before Sage gets his off. The the Zuko, uh, not the Zuko. The Sokka story is finished. The whole the whole story of, and I watched the original a little bit after. I watched this one. The story of Sokka is this 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 journey to becoming a recognized as a warrior, a great warrior. Yep. By the time they get to the Northern Water Tribe, they recognize him as a great warrior. He's done. Kick, kick him off the show. Kill him even. Like I, it really doesn't even matter. Here, I yeah, it doesn't even matter. Um, and then again, last but not least, uh, there's some other stuff I could say, but just to stress it, that actor for Aang sucks. He sucks. He should not be acting. He's not good. Uh, but again, towards the end of it, I me. Mean, huh? I could keep this on. It low key it feels low key feels like Velma to me. And Velma was like, I could keep this on. So I, th- I think they're trying to make pick like the most childish actor for Aang. Cause that wasn't the criticism with the last one was that it took itself too seriously. And oh, they just boy. went all the way left with it. Picked boy, the most childish oh boy, I got a surprise for you, so he's Nick Jr. Aang. Um Yeah. So how do you respond to us? I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie, in terms of like Filipino representation, this and that positive. Like it's it's cool, but if he sucks, he sucks. It is what it is. So I, will, I will go ahead and triple down <laughs> with Omar and Souls. I'm sorry to tell you, while they guess they found a childish face pause if needed, that nigga is the definition of like 
if like if y'all think Sokka's changed, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> like, like Aang is not Aang. He he is an entirely different person. And now there can be a conversation. Do you want these retellings to be exactly what it was? That's its own separate thing. But man, when I tell you, if you want to watch this show and you're like, okay, I want to see a story retold, but with humans this time, man, that is not Aang at not even a little bit, bro. All Aang does is consistently bitch and moan and bitch and moan about how he's not ready. Aang in the cartoons is infinitely wiser. This Aang is an idiot. I'm not gonna lie. This Aang is just dumb and he admits he's dumb time in and time out. He doesn't even like seem like a fucking prodigy but then they just kind of like force it because he is after all Aang in the Avatar. But like in the moment, I'm like this man can't do about this shit and then he just does it so it, it is what it is maybe that's a w um what i'm gonna talk about that are separate points uh one i i'll give them some credit i do like how they're trying to boost up ozai rather than make him a mystery whether you like that or not they're telling a good story with ozai however a lot of the changes are becoming a little unnecessary not in a sense bad or good but literally unnecessary one of the controversial ones that was on Twitter is, um, and this is going to trigger chat. I know that for a fact. If you didn't see it, you remember that Agni Kai where Zuko got the scar? Oh, boy, oh, boy. So in this one, Zuko fights back. <laughs> Zuko don't get on his hands and knees and cries. Zuko, like, scraps this nigga. Yeah. And what happens is he ends up holding back a little bit. And because he held back, his dad is like, oh, you think you... You think you him, that's weakness. And then he gives him the scar. And what ends up um, going on is even post-scar, his dad yet again tries to take him back in. By the way, Zuko's another fucking prodigy. Like, like side note, it's it's heavily implied that Zuko and Azula could damn near 1v1 Ozai at this point. But, um, yeah, so basically he's like, yo, I could take you back or whatever. But he basically just thinks that Zuko's just, like, weak-minded. So that's why he sent him out with the 41st Division rather than – just thinking that his son's like a failing, failing pussy. Um, so cool. That shit was cool. It, it was. <laughs> <alive>. It's <laughs> so fucking bad. Um, yeah, I, I didn't like that change. Um, if I had to say something that they did retail good, because we've been dunking on it, I'm, and I do agree with Omar, it's mid plus. It's not bad. It's actually uh, mid plus. It's definitely watchable. I think Zhao was probably the biggest W. Um, his whole story was damn near perfectly retold actually um yeah he's not that different at all from the cartoons or anything like that they literally tell you yo he's not gonna box up zuko he's not gonna box up guitar he iroh would fuck him up if he went too far and he still goes too far zhao is actually a little bit even more menacing so i think they did him kind of rather well if anything uh last but not least azula i'm sorry that's probably the biggest actoring hire where it's a question mark because she looks like a little kid she Thank looks you, Sage. She, she looks younger than Aang, and I'm supposed to believe she's as old as Zuko. I can't do it. Can't do it. I like um and my, keep going. I like Boomy and I like uh oh yeah, Boomy's cool. Jet and them like that's that's all that was pretty cool. Um, just the only show I've been watching lately is uh, Love Is Blind season six, man. Oh my god, <laughs> so there messy. Used to be chat. A guilty so pressure. messy. Pressure. There used to be a guilty pleasure, and then I ain't gonna lie, I stopped watching that shit. It's got okay. Um. It's messy this season. Oh, my. That's all my TikTok is in there. I might fuck with it again. These old bones, if I feel like it. Probably not, but if I feel like it. 